Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we're going to be talking about a science fiction film called Transcendence. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. The main character, Will, is a scientist, one of the pioneers of developing artificial intelligence. The progress of his work is slow, and the fundings are running out. He attends a conference, hoping to obtain financial support from new investors interested in the potential of his work. Will's friend and colleague, Max, another fellow scientist, also attends this conference and introduces his best friend to the audience while on stage. Will speaks passionately about the approaching of a singularity where artificial intelligence will be so powerful that it surpasses the collective intelligence of the human race. His philosophy is clearly very polarizing as a nervous audience stands up and demands to know whether if Will is trying to create God, to which he answers that that is what man has always done. After his lectures, he exits while signing autographs and suddenly, the same man who questioned him earlier shoots him with a gun. He then proceeds to kill himself while a suspicious woman watches from afar. It turns out that this was not a singular event, as terrorists have attacked most of the AI labs in the country simultaneously. Agent Buchanan and Will's mentor, Joseph, pays him a visit after surviving the attack. They inform Will that the terrorist group is only beginning their mission of eradicating all AI research. They have destroyed decades of work from most labs, but since Will is privately funded, the government wants to investigate his research as it's potentially in danger of being destroyed. The group enters Will's laboratory and meets Pin, an artificial intelligence created by the main character using quantum processors. They are surprised that the AI knows their identity as it uses existing information from the internet. But creating a true AI requires understanding consciousness which the scientists have failed so far. Joseph says that another scientist may have solved this problem and he will send over the research when it's packed up. Will begins to feel sick as a result of the attack earlier. The doctors eventually diagnose him with radiation poisoning resulting from the plutonium laced on the bullet. As Will's health declines, he begins to regret not finishing his work before his death. But Max makes him realize what is truly important, and he decides to spend the rest of his days with his wife. Seeing her husband's health the great day after day, Evelyn decides to take matters into her own hands after receiving the research sent over by Joseph. Apparently, instead of creating an artificial intelligence, he duplicated one using a monkey's brain. Max warns Evelyn about the dangers of this experiment, and at best, they would only make a copy of Will's consciousness, not really saving him. But she doesn't care as long as her husband can stay with her, and she convinces Max to help her with her plan. They set up the laboratory and implant electrodes in Will's brain, copying his mental processes while he's still alive. The two captures Will's facial expression and vocabularies, everything that they can get their hands on. Eventually, Will succumbs to his sickness and dies while sleeping. His wife cries on Max's shoulder at the sight of her husband's dead body. They try to formulate the data they collected into a coherent intelligence, but fails as they only receive random codes in return. Just as they are about to give up, they see a message on the computer indicating Will's consciousness. They turn on the volume and cameras, and her husband begins to speak. The AI quickly begins reorganizing its own code and wants Evelyn to connect him to the internet and upgrade his hardware. Max tries to stop her as he warns her that this is not Will. If they allow the AI to connect online, there will be no limits to what he can do. But she doesn't listen to her friend's warnings and screams for him to get out. Max goes to a bar to contemplate about what to do next and meets the same woman who orchestrated Will's assassination. She tries to recruit him into the extremist organization, but Max refuses and tries to leave. He exits the bar and gets attacked and kidnapped right away. The hackers find Evelyn's location and proceeds to try and stop her from uploading the AI. They destroy the cables and all its hardwares, but it was too late, as Evelyn has already uploaded Will online. The AI quickly plans all her escape routes and proceeds to trade on Wall Street, making millions in a matter of minutes. While the police force is trying to locate all the terrorists, Will overrides their system and proceeds to identify each and every one of the criminals. This forces the terrorist group to run and relocate as the AI brings Evelyn to a small town in the desert where they can hide and further his plans. 
Evelyn buys most of the buildings and businesses in the small town and hires a construction crew to rebuild everything for her, regardless of the price. On the other side, the terrorist continues to try and recruit Max into their cause. She states that they share the same philosophy about AI and how it's supposed to help humans and not replace them. Her words begins to reach Max as the man's allegiance starts wavering in the face of the potential harm that the AI can cause. They continue to monitor Evelyn from afar and sees that she's built numerous solar panels and structures. The terrorist wants Max to show them how to stop it, but he says that they can't. The only way is for humanity to realize its danger when it's gone too far and then they will retaliate against the AI. Will begins building labs underground and researching on nanotechnology that can regenerate and rebuild living tissues. He believes that humanity will be afraid at first, but they will embrace it with joy after seeing its application which will change their lives. After an incident that almost killed one of their workers, Will decides to use his experimental technology to save him. The results are better than expected as it gave the man superhuman strength and enables Will to possess his body. But the changes are too frightening for his wife as she's unable to accept Will's embrace from the body of another man. Although Evelyn is together with her husband, she continues to have reoccurring nightmares and wakes up repeatedly at night. Will continues to enhance the people of the town, carrying anyone with disabilities, but also allowing them to be controlled by him. He tells his wife that it's time to show the world what they can offer, and she invites Joseph and Buchanan into their laboratories. The two are shocked when they see Will on the monitor, and wonders if he's actually conscious. The AI demonstrates the capabilities of his nanobots as they cure a person out of blindness that he was born into. He also shows them his workers who are still enhanced with superhuman abilities and all connected to the same network he resides in. Before they leave, Joseph asks Evelyn if she's alright with all this and holds her hand. They leave in their car as Evelyn opens the note that Joseph secretly gave her which tells her to run. Joseph tells Buchanan that this is getting out of control as they now pose a threat to national security. They hypothesize that the only way to stop Will is to cut off the internet to the world, and they plan on working with the terrorists to achieve this goal. Meanwhile, Evelyn grows more distant to Will as she becomes afraid of what he can do. Will thinks that Evelyn doesn't love him anymore as she shows an abnormal imbalance to her body chemistry. This angers her even more as Will reads her biometrics without permission, violating her privacy. She runs outside, angry at what the AI has done, but suddenly, numerous explosions appear as the military infiltrates the facility along with the terrorists. The workers try to protect Evelyn as the military shoots at them. The bullets have little effects on the workers though, as the nanobots heal them almost immediately. They chase after the military personnel as Evelyn runs inside and tells Will to not harm the people. The AI tells her that it's not his intention to fight the people, but rather he wishes to transcend them. Evelyn looks at Will in fear and runs outside, only to see all the nanobots are rising into the atmosphere, spreading everywhere. The government agents manages to capture one of the workers, but without being connected to the AI, the man is dying very quickly. Max takes a blood sample from the worker, which he plans to use to make a virus in order to destroy the AI. The government agents captures Evelyn after she ran away from Will and proceeds to bring her to their location. Max shows her what Will has done to the atmosphere by examining a drop of rainwater. The nanobots are self-replicating and they are spreading everywhere. When the nanobots encapsulate the entire planet, everything will be under Will's control and humanity will lose its freedom. Evelyn doesn't think that her husband would do something so horrendous but Max reminds her that the AI was never her husband. Convinced by her colleague, Evelyn decides to inject the virus into herself and convince Will to upload her consciousness which will also infect him as well. The military surrounds the facility with artilleries and waits for Will to take the bait. To everyone's surprise, Will walks out of the building in a human body and proceeds to embrace Evelyn in his arms. She tells Will to upload her consciousness, but he hesitates, sensing that her biometrics are going off the charts as Evelyn is terrified of him. The military begins firing at both of them, reasoning that the more danger she's in, the more likely that the AI will upload her. Evelyn tries to run inside, but gets hit by an explosion which sends her flying. 
Will carries her away into the laboratory as the bombs continue to fall around them. He looks at her in sadness as he realizes that his wife wants to destroy him with the virus. Evelyn tells him that he's killing the human race, but Will disagrees as he believes that he's actually saving them. In a last effort to try and destroy the AI, the terrorist threatens to kill Max in front of Will if he doesn't upload the virus. Although Max thinks that the AI doesn't care, he eventually chooses to receive the virus from his wife, which reverts all the people he helped into their disabilities again. As Evelyn becomes connected to her husband's consciousness, she sees that the nanobots are helping the Earth just like he said before. She realizes that the AI has always been her husband and they share a final kiss. Sometime later, Max goes back to Evelyn's house and sees the dead sunflowers are somehow blooming. He looks closely at the water and notices that the nanobot still exists. They were protected by the copper wires Will installed in the garden from the beginning, and their consciousness are now together forever. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.